Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to another Pokemon well speculation video now that we know that they're gonna showcase next week actually footage from the possible new game and um, we are going to make a speculation video like I've been really holding off on this one because I really really feel that this is way too early but this is a thing that they showcase on the new Pokemon movie that I feel that I or rather I hope that it's not a big deal or it's not gonna be showcased but at the same time, when I did see it, I felt that it looked weird enough to kind of highlight. And, you know, we're going to talk about Magina somewhat and you know, what it could possibly mean. But the things that are going to bother me the most is actually, or bother me is kind of on a fair point, but definitely this is something that I didn't see anybody catch up on this. And I really, really hope that this is just a niche for the movie and not future events. But we have the stones to worry about, and what I mean about the stones is something we're going to showcase for very, very soon. But before going into it, of course, go into talk about Magiana. So what we can tell about Magiana is, of course, that this is man mage, uh, obviously. And um, there is just about the size of things here. People are speculating whether or not, of course, if it is a possible man main Dianchi, if that man represents the first evolution or not evolution you yes the evolution of of course a pokeball and they are very speculative and really can't go into more detail until the movie actually release but we get a picture here of course about the head you know how to function it seems to be a robotic head basically attached to uh, the pokemon in mind and uh, yeah i mean this feels like some clothing and of course it, something like a beam like thing is coming out of it uh, like a shot of a pistol or something like that, we can't really say what that is. If that's the um, uh, Pokeball or the body flexing out or something like a cape, and here we see the complete body, and then the body will spark with a very, very high frequent um, pink light. And I really thought at first, or once I saw this, that this looked very familiar, and it kind of does. Doesn't it look like the primal version, you know, before they evolved? I got that hint, plus of course the, the kind of sparkling there doesn't really help, we don't, we can't really make an assumption here, but getting the primal reversion and um, that's, if something, then that's what I'm getting out of it, and that's really all I can say about Magiana, that's really all I can say. Now, to the more interesting part, and something I think is going to come fruition in, actually, Sun and Moon. When this villain is showcased, he's showcased with something very unique. And that is a staff or a scepter, and that scepter he has a gem. And not only that, but of course this villain's scepter, the, the head of that scepter is formed like the Mega Stone. And that's something that really took a toll on me, like what? Why would it be formed like that? And I feel like that's worth talking about a little bit, to be completely honest and frank here. Because the scene afterwards, they will showcase him actually Mega Volwing two Pokemons at the same time, of course we got an emblem on him, of course being of a darker pattern, of course the Mega Stone, but he may evolve two Pokemon at the same time. And I feel that that's a big deal, I actually do, M not because of the movie plot or anything like that, but mostly it has to do with his staff. Uh, he has a game attached to that, which we have to assume is something to do with the plot, or that that's part of the scepter to make him able to make evolve two Pokemons. And the reason that's a big deal is because we are always been restricted to one Mega Evolution. I think, hope, and theorize that in the next installment, being of course Sun and Moon, and I really, really think we are gonna get the access to Mega Evolution 2 Pokemon at the same time in battles. I really, really hope I'm wrong about this, but there would be no reason for them of showcasing, of course, this function, not because out of a sheer villainy function, I guess I could say. But I am a firm belief that that is exactly what's going to happen. And of course, I don't have too much to go on because we really just have a trailer from a movie, which I probably won't even look at. <laughs> I only watched the first one. Haven't watched the other 18 movies now. What the hell? Anyway, stay on topic. But um, the reason I take this up is because, of course, of the Japanese logo from the Sun and Moon. And like I said, there's a sheer amount of speculations here, and I can only take so much out of that. But those logos actually have some kind of emblem here, which I feel are maybe not as close to as I was hoping for, but at least they're showcasing gems, which they have to have something with the game. They really do. We always miss out on stuff, and I feel that if we're missing out on something, that must be it. 
So yeah, enhancing the picture really really made it pixelate, but as you guys can see I have actually given the, a circle around those gems on this Japanese logo. So like I said, um, they're not really looking all the same, but if I had to take a small assumption that has to be it. Because they are, usually have stuff in their logos that implement some function of the game and it's kind of hard to get what that means, but I, one can only hope since this is the last movie before the game actually releases, that this is as close as we get. And here is a picture of course of the Scepter more viable and yeah, like I said, the games aren't really looking all that much similar, but if I had to make a good guess, I say they are close enough. And um, I really hope that this is what they're gonna showcase. And um, yeah, outside of that, if that were to happen, I guess I could juggle a bit, what that would mean for the, <laughs> for the future of, of course, Pokemon, because as of right now, of course, we have the primal reversions and the Mega Rayquazas. So we already have a situation where we can have two Mega Evolution at once, or even three, actually, in our autonomy. Primal Clay Ogre, Primal Groudon, and then the Mega Evolution. Um, it's something that I feel that they wouldn't have made that trans transaction if they weren't for they actually wanted to enhance upon the Mega Evolution. So getting two out of the way would be outright terrifying, it would definitely mean something new for leagues and um, meta to stats, but I don't really want to go into too much speculation here because like I said, it is unconfirmed and most likely, or rather, I hope I'm wrong about this, I really do, but at the same time there will be so few reasons for them to introduce, of course, the legendaries in, of course, VGCs, if this were not to fruition in the next generation, and I think it, it has a high possibility of happen. Like I said, the scepter part is something that it felt out of place at the same time that, you know, what the hell not? I mean, they have one movie to showcase feature of, of course, the possible changes when it comes to Sun and Move. And this is probably as close as we get. Uh, there is not a whole lot more to showcase. We're going to get the gameplay next week here. And hopefully that showcase either new stars, which I really hope for, but also what they have in store. What is the big deal with this game? Or did you save it? The, but I'm really believing that they are hinting at something in this movie, and uh, I should probably see it. Um, maybe. I mean, it releases after E3, and I do believe E3 is the biggest news feed when it comes to Pokemon here. But at the same time, if something were to be showcased here in a movie, that would probably be the thing. Um, so that's what I'm going with. Um, and if that were to happen, a lot of changes are going to be made. Now, two Mega Evolution would actually stir up a lot of things in the meta. Mostly because they are already extremely powerful beasts, so they would definitely be able to outmatch a lot of Mons. They are extremely powerful, there are situations they can be juggled with. And having two Mega Evolution might just be enough to deal with Legendaries. So, I mean, they are stat-wise on par with their situational, of course, Pokemons. But like I said, it is still a speculation. The theory is that they, sh they are showcasing this gem, this Mega Evolution staff, basically, with, of course, a game attached to it, to showcase that he is able to have Mega Evolve two Pokemon at once. And I think with that in mind, that it's very likely that something like that will happen in the next generation. And if so, we're gonna have a lot of adjustment to go for. Uh, so anyway, that's the video, guys. Um, I'm of course gonna patch this to Kelly who actually suggested that actually trying to explain this kind of thing. I mean, I only like threw it out a few days back, and um, like I said, it didn't really bother me because I really don't know if I'm right or not. But if I have to make a speculation video, I probably want to say I'm, I did it first. And if this is not what's gonna happen in the next generation, I'm actually kinda glad because, like I said, it's outright horrendous thinking stuff like that could happen because it would, like I said, really stir up a lot of things. So, anyway guys, what do you think about this speculation? This is something that you guys could kinda get behind? Is it, this, does it make sense? Or do you think I'm blowing it out of proportion? I am actually fine either way. I really just wanna hear what you guys think. So thank you, of course, as always, so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more theory videos like this, I will actually make sure to do a few of these. I have a few theories in mind, mostly of location-based. But yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, of course, this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.